Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a quick unboxing, just an unboxing, of a Mars 3 Pro resin printer. We're going to show you everything that comes with it, and how it's all going to, what it all looks like. We're going to do a separate video for the setup, and do an actual print, and we'll do step by step as we go along, and learn more about it. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, this is going to tell you everything you're going to need, so you know what to do. Of course, the next video will be the wash station and cure wash and cure station. Okay, there are two separate things. So the table uh, that I'm going to show you in the video may not be big enough. I mean, you get to get a bigger one. We'll see. Anyway, let's get on to it. Okay, here's the product I'm going to be unboxing. It's from Elegoo. It's MSLA 3D printer, formerly otherwise known as the Mars Pro uh, resin printer. We're going to get it out of the box. We're going to have a look at it. Uh, yeah. So first, we're going to see how it's packaged, which I've already opened it a little bit. It's got the little bit of styrofoam to protect it, and this to protect the little sheet that's on here. Of course, it comes with a 3D printer manual from Elegoo. And it comes with power line, which we'll get into and show you that in a minute here. Show you more about what it is. But more importantly, let's show you the actual product. So, so here's the product as it sits in the box. And of course we have some other accessories on the end here. We'll get to that after. And this, of course, your USB is gonna go in here, your power button, your LCD screen, and it has another one up here, I believe. So we're gonna get this out, set it on the table, and let's have a better look at it. And it's all wrapped in plastic. Hasn't got that much weight to it. It's got a little twist tie on the end here, so you can take that plastic off. And then everything else is just gonna slide off here. So, be careful with it. Last thing you wanna do is break your nice 3D printer, of course. So once you start it, you can set it up. All right, so you can have a first look at what it's gonna look like. Okay, so, you do want it to be on a fairly steady surface. All right, I'm gonna get this plastic off here. And it's wrapped, so you have the, this compartment here. So you're gonna be taking that on and off quite a lot. So we'll get the plastic off of that. You've also got plastic protecting the printer itself. So we're just gonna slowly lift this off. In here, you've got the 3D printer itself. And it's got some markings on it, I'm not sure why. It's like something is glued to it. I'm not really sure exactly why it would be like that. But anyway, we have our build plate. So my understanding is this just comes out. Okay, so this separates. And if I read it right, and my understanding is this loosens here. You have to do some adjustments here. And this, at some point, is going to fasten in and go underneath here. So we're not setting it up we're basically just giving you a first look so it is remarkably heavier than i thought so anyway we're gonna come back here in a second after i get this plastic off all right so of course this is going to set over top of this like so uh, of course you're gonna have to put that on but anyway that gives you a little bit of a look we have this is we have to put on so this box, which just said power line, is just for your plugging in your power. Very simple, nothing hard about that. And now we have a thing that says toolkit for the M3 Pro. And in here, they have another thing for power. All right, so that's probably where that other cable plugs in here, kind of like on a laptop. And then this plugs into the back of the machine. All right. On top of that, if you're working with resin, you need mask. They gave you some gloves, because obviously you don't want to handle the resin with your bare hands. A scraper to get things off the plate. And we have, what do we have here? Well, look. So in this box here, they've included some cutters. All right, just so you can take the supports and cut those off. All right, and one of the things which I thought was kind of nice is you do get some smells with this. So they've included, for how well this works, 
a charcoal filter. Now, when you get this out, which I'm going to unbox right now, basically just take the plastic off, if you want to call that an unboxing. Okay, so this is what we have. Alright, have to take this off. Don't make that mistake. Don't leave it on. And it's USB. There's a USB slot in the back here. So you have to take this little piece of plastic off of it. You might want to hang on to that. And then this is just going to go in there like this. Line that up. Okay, see how it goes on. And it pushes down just like that. Now they do have a uh, very elegant way to tell you about the cover and LED indicator, your purifier. Now there is something that I wanted to point out is when you get this, it does come apart and I want to show you something here. Okay, it just pulls apart. Be careful. You got this thing here and you want to take it apart because if I'm right, yes. You can't just use it right away. The charcoal filter is in a piece of plastic. All right. So you have to take that off before you start using it. If you don't, well, you're going to run into some problems. When you're handling this, all right, take it out. But try not to actually handle it with your actual hands. All right. So take this. using the plastic put it up inside again not touching it with your hand put the filter back in here and then attach all right and this should just go in now it's ready to use okay don't make the mistake um, I'm guessing that could be a mistake that could be easily made and it might well cost you um, another charcoal filter perhaps. Now it's ready to go. Simple. Okay, again, uh, has a cover, LED indicator, USB port, and an air purifier. So the air purifier is what I just showed you, right? But they divide it into these different parts, okay? So this is the cover. All right, this bottom part is the air purifier. The four, of course, is the USB port itself. And then you have a um, indicator here, which is an LED indicator. So, again, keep all this material just so you have it. And it's something we're all familiar with, masks. All right, we all know how to put those on nowadays. So, wear those when you're using it. They give you a sharp, okay, like a putty knife almost, basically. Actually, I already had one, but it's not terribly sharp, but it's sharp enough. And that's to keep things, uh, when they're done, to remove them off the build plate. We have some Allen keys, some replacement nuts for on the inside, and some screws. All part of setting it up. It comes with all the instructions, everything you're going to need in this USB stick which of course is going to go in here. All right, simply plug it in. All right, plug and play. Of course, you want to do that when it's turned on and then power it on there. So plug it in, power it on or vice versa. I don't think it makes any bit of difference. That's the unboxing. That's everything you're going to get. So that's everything you're going to get right there. We'll do another video for the actual setup and how it all works once I figure it out because this is brand new to me just like the 3D printer was. One thing I know I need to do is I need to have an electrical outlet. There is a wash and a cure machine or a cure station that will go with this. So once I get all this put together, then I'll have a spot on there for that. There's actually two separate machines. Hopefully this table will be big enough. If not, then I'll replace it with another one. I have it sitting next to a table. Um, wash basin that I have in the basement used it for multiple things so I thought that might come in handy which is why I picked this spot to my utility room which you can hear the furnace running in the background now sorry about that and of course the only other thing you're going to need is some resin and the stuff for the wash station so 
We'll get on to that in a separate video. Hope this helps you out. If you're thinking about buying one. Alright everybody, so that's the video. If you like it, give it a big old thumbs up. If you have questions, well, I'll educate you as much as I can educate myself in the next couple days because I'm going to be doing a deep dive into everything there is to know about resin printing including doing a print and all that kind of stuff and I will film it along the way so you can see everything that happens as I do it so you'll learn from my mistakes and you'll learn the right way of doing it so I'll film it I'll make sure it follows a proper sequence but for now this is just an unboxing everything that comes with it it's the Mars 3 Pro, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool looking. I look forward to giving it a good tryout and uh, printing some much smaller things than you can do on a normal 3D printer. And uh, yeah, so if you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit that bell for notifications for videos as they come up in the future, especially for more of this stuff. And um, yeah, look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching.